Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember the energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian angels, Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, and ancestors. This for type of angels. I guess I do this reading for Capricorn. Show me clear and honest messages for Capricorn. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I have always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see. I keep seeing that. I feel like this Two of Cups is going to come out, but we'll see. Um, Spirit, how does this person feel about Capricorn? Okay, so we have the Three of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign of Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay, we have death and we have the six of wands. I feel like, um, tell me about this three of cups. Yeah, heavy water energy, especially Scorpio. Tell me about this three of cups. I feel like you're gonna, you haven't already met this person. I feel like you meet them through a friend or like a, a third party energy, like it could be like a dating app or something like that. Um, I feel like this person, <laughs> I feel like they come across as quite, um, they're a lot of fun. They like to have a lot of fun. They do a lot of spontaneous things. I feel like uh, they have good energy. I feel like this person is a deep thinker though. That's what I'm getting. Um, they could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, but Gemini was really standing out for me. I, because I feel like this person has a lot of fun, they're out there, they do their thing, but then when they're by themselves or when they're with people they're comfortable with, they're very much a deep thinker. It's almost like you see this party person and then this other side of them comes out like they're talking about how the universe works and things like that. And it's kind of unexpected a little bit. But I'm also getting, I feel like you could meet this person through through a friend or like at an event or like some something else introduces you to them um, yeah okay so with this death energy tell me tell me about this death card please <laughs> didn't I say I felt like this two of cups was gonna come out yeah there's something about you here, Capricorn, that has changed the way this person sees things. Like I said, this person's very deep. I feel like there's a deeper side to them that most people don't see. I feel like um, there's, there's a soulmate connection here. The Two of Cups for me is the soulmate card. So this is someone where it feels like it's just um, easy with them. It feels familiar. It feels like there's not really that awkward, like, mm, like weird stage. It's like you just kind of instantly feel comfortable and it's because your souls already know each other. Um, so I feel like holding back and not showing that side unless they're really comfortable is something they're doing differently here with you because they feel very drawn to you here with this two of cups. They feel very, um, this is this is transformative for them with that death energy. I feel like this is, yeah, this is not something they have experienced before here. So even if you just met this person, I feel like almost right away, they're going to be like, there's something different about Capricorn here. Something I don't want to let go of. Something that, you know, um, I meet the average person and I'm, because again, I'm getting this energy. They're out a lot. They're very social. People like them. They talk to a lot of people, but they don't have those deep, deep conversations with just anyone. And I feel like with you right away, they feel like they can, they can open up. With the Six of Wands, I'm getting the same energy with the Three of Cups. Like I just feel like this person um, is very well liked, actually. 
but they feel just this pull towards you here with this two of cups yeah like you're you're making them feel differently about the way they even see connections because this one feels so different that they're like wait a second it's making me think something deeper is going on here um it's not that they don't connect with people deeply just not right away is what i'm getting it's like this person just feels it right away you i feel it you're gonna feel it too though here capricorn mm -hmm. and a lot of conversation i feel like the, the two of you have really good conversations um mm -hmm. tell me about that two of cups please spirit okay interesting so you're getting two three four here Ooh, and the ace of cups i was feeling this two three four so things are happening exactly the way they're supposed to oh thank you spirit you're also getting two two three three four four here okay so definitely look out for synchronicities this is also spirit's way when my cards start to sync up it's spirit's way of letting me know this is a significant relationship in your life no matter how long it lasts um, what comes of it it's it's your the two souls are meant to meet to help each other grow and evolve in some way here so it's like this person can definitely see commitment here with you right but they're kind of on the fence a little bit here and i feel like it's just because they're not used to this energy it feels unknown it feels um like new territory it feels it, it feels like i don't usually connect with people like this so like what is going on here um they could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn like yourself i feel like this person sees you as someone who would not only be a good partner to be with but like a, a good teammate like i feel like there's just this energy between it's an equal give and take here um but i do feel like this person is <laughs> <laughs> It's like when they go into their um, deep thought by themselves, they really try to mull this over and try to understand what what is this connection? What is this? What is going on here? What is it with Capricorn? Why Capricorn? What is it about them? What They're really trying to understand it here. That's what I'm getting from this here. But this person could definitely see themselves being with you here. And like I said, you and just the, even the way I laid the cards out, four, four, two, two, three, three. So there's something happening here that just feels like it's just almost it's clicking it's like perfect um yeah wow powerful and that ace of cups there yeah look at this out of nowhere just feeling this deep emotional connection here right so let's see what is this person's actions towards capricorn in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards capricorn so we have the Empress and we have the Seven of Wands. So Taurus energy here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. I feel like there's this energy of oh, the lovers. It's almost like this person doesn't want to feel what they feel. They don't want to feel this way. Again, I'm just getting this. This is too new. This is too weird. This is too strong. Um, is what I'm getting here. This person sees you so highly. Doesn't and the Empress energy here, the divine feminine, does not mean you have to be a female. We all have masculine feminine energy. But this, along with the lovers here, Gemini energy, I feel like this person can't explain this. And I, I feel as though they are usually able to understand what's going on with the connections that they have. They can see where they're going, where they're not going, um, what they really mean, you know, but this one kind of confuses them a little bit but it intrigues them in a good way here. So it's like this person is almost battling with themselves is what I'm getting. It's like this inner battle of like, okay, I just wanna feel this and feel good about it, but also like, what is this? Uh-huh, so interesting. But this person feels absolutely drawn to you here with the two of cups and the lovers coming out. So let me just, tell me about the lovers, please. And the, the lovers used to be called a choice. So I feel like this person is, trying to trying to choose should i go for this should i um should i offer this love this overflowing love that i'm feeling for capricorn already it looks like they're going to because it feels like they can't even understand why they feel the way that they do so this could be someone saying you know let's go on a date you know i've never felt this way before and this might seem to you and i just heard this like bs right you could feel like okay come on how many lines how many times have you used that line 
but this person actually feels this way they're like whoa like this you know capricorn is it they have so much to offer here they're a little bit of everything and i feel like you have this mystery about you too i'm kind of getting like high priestess energy they feel you're a little bit mysterious you 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 don't always say things right away you kind of wait to talk a little bit here you leave there, there's room to guess is what i'm getting even if especially if you have social media and you're not um, the type of person to kind of post all the time or what have you i feel like this person almost finds that intriguing because it's very different than anything that they've uh, encountered before so this person is definitely <laughs> gonna let you know how they feel here um, again could be a text message could be an offer to go out um, but they're conflicted about it i have to be honest because they they never felt like that like this before towards someone wow what did you do to them capricorn <laughs> so let's see their intentions what is this person's intentions okay they're asking me to go to the other deck so i will usually when i go to the other deck there's um cards that need to come out again that are already on the board but we'll see okay spirit what is this person's intentions with capricorn Thank you. The Page of Swords and Seven of Cups. This, or sorry, Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to know, um, yeah, what's your history? What, what, what's going on with you? If you're single and I think you're so amazing, which they do, why are you single? What's going on with you? What's your past? What does your, uh, you know, dating history look like? What, why didn't your last relationship work, right? They're very curious about you is what I'm getting. Why, why aren't you with someone else? And, and Capricorn, the reason could very well be, you know, I just haven't met the right person, right? Or perhaps, you know, I was with someone and I'm, you know, been single on my healing journey or what have you. But regardless, this person is just very, very curious about you. They want to know how you are the way you are. How did you get this way? Because they find you very intriguing. Anything else about this person's intentions? I feel like they want to at the very least be friends for a very long time i feel like this person um just wants they really enjoy your energy is what i'm getting okay we're getting the four of pentacles and the ace of swords so you have two aces here so this feels it's, it's new it's new new right and it kind of i'm feeling comes out of nowhere here you won't be surprised if the tower comes out but I feel like this person wants to be open and honest with you and talk about the things they usually hold back from people about how they, you know, uh, are usually just the fun person that kind of, you know, is goofy and silly and there's nothing wrong with that. But in, what I'm trying to get at is they don't go deep with a lot of people, especially not right away. But with you, I feel like right from the get go, they're they're honest. They want to be honest. There's something pure about this connection um, is what I'm feeling. Huh. Tell me about that Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Um, the Page of Cups. Yeah, so this person, like I said, whatever they're offering you, there's that Ace of Cups again. Whatever they're offering you here, whether it's that date or telling you, you know, I really like you or that, you know, I'm so intrigued by you. You're getting two pages here. Pages are like the students. They're so curious. They want to know more. They're open to learning and seeing things from new perspectives here, right? And I feel like this person is open to understanding why they feel so emotionally drawn to you and like they can just be honest with you. Um, and I feel like they're going to tell you that. They're going to let you know, listen, I don't usually open up to people like this or I don't usually talk like this, but with you it's different. Um, and I'm just hearing, seeing this little pig fly at the top and they could have felt like this connection, this type of connection didn't exist. Like, oh, when pigs fly, like I'll feel that strongly about someone right away. And then here it is. Um, that could be a saying that you use, but that's just really standing out to me right now. But um, let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome? Thank you. Okay, so you are getting the Ten of Swords. So right away, when I'm getting that energy is I feel like, and this is this doesn't usually come through with love readings, but I feel like, this could feel very, very, very strong at first. And then there's a realization of we're just better as friends, right? Like, and there's no love lost here, but I do feel like it, there's some sort of ending here. Um, just, it, does, it's, it could start as one way and end as another, but it's not feeling, um, you know, what's, 
there, there's a lot gained. Even though this is the Ten of Swords, I like it in this card because it's just about walking away from something that's not serving you anymore, right? So again, it could be like, wow, like, you know, we feel a strong connection. Let's, you know, perhaps try to date. And then the more you talk, you realize, you know what, we're, I think we're just better as friends, right? Like, I feel like we get along really well. We have great conversation. I just feel so easy with you. But, you know, I don't see this developing into something, um, you know, more than that. That's what this could be. This could also be that something else ends here in order for this to come to fruition. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Because if that if the Three of Swords comes out, this could definitely be you ending something with someone else or them ending something with someone else in order to be together here. Um, but we are getting the Emperor. And there's the Three of Swords. Yeah. So there's there could this could definitely be a situation where the two of you meet, you're so drawn to each other because we have a divine match here, right? This person just feels like you are their yin to their yang or vice versa, right? Like this just like you you can't explain it. You have the two of cups, you have the lovers, or just the it's inexplicable. But something else could end here because of it. Right? So this person takes action towards you here, towards the connection, or maybe you towards them finally. Um, it looks like them towards you, it, or depending if you're a cross watcher or not, but it, it, it ends in, in heartbreak here or a third party situation having to be, you know, walked away from in some way. Um, yeah. Anything else for the potential outcome? But yeah, the two of you are, go together really well, whether it is just as friends or not, or more than that, but it just feels, um, it feels easy. It feels comfortable and it feels deep it feels deep we're getting the five of swords so lots of air energy gemini libra aquarius the ace of cups and the king of wands so there's that ace of cups again like there is something new that blossoms here right i do feel like there is a lot of passion so it could start as something very passionate right realizing you have a lot of interest what have you but you know um i feel like it just doesn't sit well with someone there's something that says, you know, I just keep, I don't know why, maybe we should just be friends, right? Or uh, maybe just not right now. Or um, that's just kind of the energy I'm getting here right now. But regardless, I feel like this is something that just kind of opens up um, new windows for the both of you, together or apart. I just feel like there's, a, there's emotional growth and develop, development here. Um, Mm hmm yeah interesting okay so let's see here because I do have to say sorry let me just go back a little bit here because I feel like some of you might be wondering well why isn't this a love connection it definitely could be the ace of cups is here I feel like the ace of cups can also represent like a like a love for another human just like oh you'd be a great friend or a great companion because there's not this, you know, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, 10 of cups, unconditional love, like wanting this family, like those kind, that's not, I'm getting a very strong connection here. Um, someone you feel drawn to, they feel drawn to, they're so curious about you. They feel like they just see you and they're like, wow, like, you know, this is, uh, I've never met someone like Capricorn before. But again, I just, I, it's so interesting because I don't you always get this kind of energy, but it could just be, you know, I think we're better off as friends. It doesn't have to be, right? The Ace of Cups is here in, um, in the potential outcome, but the Ten of Swords is also here as well, right? And I do feel like that could also just be the ending of a way of thinking, right? The ending of um, like, y you know, something, something emotionally, mentally, that's just, there's growth here basically is what I'm getting. Um, interesting. Okay, let's see. Spirit messages for Capricorn. Okay. So we got flowers, happiness, beautiful. And we got flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. So this could be that this, like I said, I feel like it kind of starts as one thing and kind of doesn't go the way maybe you both thought. But this could also be if there is a third party energy that, you know, someone has to uh, end that with or something like that. Um, 
sh horse short journey see so this is what I'm saying I, and it's interesting because at the beginning I said no matter how long a soulmate connection lasts there's always development there's always growth right and there's always um, something something to be learned something valuable to be taken from it okay let's see messages for Capricorn please dog protection from a powerful friend right so this could end up being a really good friend in some way and because soulmates are not always lovers right they're not always you know uh, romantic connections they can be friends they can be family members you can even have pets that are soulmates right um, we are getting a younger woman dealings a relationship with a younger woman could be you could be them and I'm seeing the eagle at the bottom here, triumph over trouble, trouble and obstacles. So perhaps you were kind of feeling stuck in something and this person helps you open up and see something in a different way. I feel like you definitely help them because they are just like, what is going on here? I do not usually feel like this towards people, especially right away. Um, but let's see, messages for Capricorn here, please, Spirit. Thank you. There is a big hole in my heart that I cannot fill on my own. So I feel like you definitely give something to this person that they feel they don't have themselves. Um, I left when I saw you with someone. So like I said, perhaps this starts off as maybe a potentially romantic, but then it, it's like we're... I, I just feel like it starts as one thing and ends as another. That's all I'm getting. Um, I feel you even though we are apart. I wonder if you are happy without me. And I'm starting to understand our connection. Mm -hmm. So deep, deep, deep spiritual connection here. Uh, messages for Capricorn. Thank you. Self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So that's what this could be. This could be a connection that sparks, you know, shadow work, um, someone understanding their worth, right? And then I always look at soulmates like, and I use the analogy of Super Mario. I feel like that's a very well-known game, so that's why I use that one. But the idea of these levels, right? Level one, it's quite easy, you know, you're learning, what have you, but then by the time you get to level two, you remember what you, what you learned from level one. So you think of soulmates like that. When you meet this soulmate, because that's what it is for me with this two of cups, you learn something from them. And it's not that it wasn't invaluable because you're gaining from it. And then when you meet, you level up and then you meet that next soulmate and then that could be the one who you're, who you're with for the rest of your life, right? Um, there's always something to be gained, right? Everything's a blessing or a lesson, and sometimes both, or sometimes it starts as one and ends as another. Okay, we got you're ready. We got abundance. Yeah, lots of good, especially with those two ace of cups coming out. And look for a sign. Okay. So let's see, spirit messages for Capricorn. Your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus energy. So whatever you're trying to do moving forward, I feel like it need, there needs to be steps. Yeah, adjustments are required. It's time to take action. Yeah, so there's moving forward and a new start is coming. So whatever you're working towards here, I feel like it's this is helping you grow and helping you learn. Again, this could be the person, right? the potential is here where this does blossom into something really quite beautiful here um, so if you're sitting there saying oh I've been through all the soulmates I want this to be the one it definitely could be because a new start is coming here there's a lot of abundance there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here something aces are all about brand new beginnings though right and without nurturance and care and attention and effort into the aces they don't really turn into anything else right it's up to us like how we uh, which way that goes um, mm -hmm. so let's see messages for Capricorn thank you Capricorn I love when this card comes out see me singing I never sing Capricorn soulmates 
Oh, I just love when this card comes out, Capricorn. Beautiful. I got the chills and everything. Yeah, this is someone very, very, very special. Very special. Oh, I love it, Capricorn. That just made my whole, my whole day, my whole week. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay, I have to read the Oracle's message, and then I will read the relationship message. But it says, you are meant to evolve and transform with the com companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. <laughs> thank you, Spirit, because I feel like this is what... Ex thank you, Spirit. Thank you. <laughs> so, no matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. This is exactly... Thank you, Spirit. I just... I, I love this kind of confirmation because it's so beautiful it's like this is there's so much to be gained here and then i will read the relationship message as well consider love in the deepest sense love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. Thank you so much, Spirit. I always say this in my readings. I'm always humbled by the confirmations that come by Spirit. It just it feels good to be able to give these messages and just have Spirit kind of affirm what I'm feeling through the tarot the messages i'm getting it's just um i know it's extra confirmation for all of you watching but for myself as a reader just as someone who's developing these these skills and and will continue to so um anyways thank you for coming to my ted talk <laughs> all right so these could be initials of you of this person um numbers you've been seeing Take it as it resonates, but if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we got G, C, J, O, N, the number two, and the number three. Okay, Capricorn, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.